This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Good afternoon, everybody, and happy springtime. I can officially say that it's springtime here in Quebec because we had our last big snowfall about 10 to 15 centimeters a few days ago and now everything's melted leaves are coming out trees are blooming so it's the best time of the year when all these birds start coming back and I've been doing a few little projects here and there to increase bird habitat in the area and this is pretty much my last one that I hope works you can probably see the black plastic behind me I'm going to use this to build my first ever reflection pool and wildlife pond so I'll go through the motions I'll tell you what I'm doing why I'm doing it and then I'll throw up some time lapses of me actually building it here and then the second part of this video, fingers crossed if birds and wildlife actually show up to this pond, it'll be me taking photos and hopefully some videos. So we'll see what happens. I've never done this before, so it's kind of just roughing it. I have a rough idea of what I want to do. Uh, will it work? Oh, brown thrasher calling. They have such cool calls. Uh, yeah, I've never done this before, so we'll see what happens. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I have two 14 inch cedar posts, and these are gonna be the edges of the pond and they're gonna be spaced out about this distance, about seven feet apart. What I'm gonna do is on three edges, so this edge here, this edge right here, and then this edge here, those are gonna be really steep slopes. Because what you wanna do is you wanna have these areas more steep so that the birds don't land here and drink from here. You want them to kind of go onto the other side and drink from that edge. So on the other edge down there, what I'm gonna do is just have a small little bank that comes in, a nice gradient, and I'll put some grasses and stuff so it looks a little bit more natural. And that's gonna be where I want the birds to photograph from. So right here, I'm gonna set up eventually, if I like the spot and the birds actually use it, I'm gonna set up a blind. So I'll dig in the ground just to get down to eye level with the birds. And I'll have kind of like a recessed blind that looks out into this reflection pool. So that's gonna be my background, which I'll let the grasses grow. Maybe I'll plant some cedar trees and stuff just to get some really nice green background. And in order to keep this pond as waterproof as possible, I'm gonna cut pretty much two pieces of liner and then just double it. So it, there's really no chance that this is gonna leak or anything. And besides that, I'm just gonna start cutting framing everything out and then just start digging. So I'll throw up a bunch of time lapses now of me doing all this and stay tuned for the end result. So I finished the pond the other day. I just tucked in the sides, added a ton of sand so I can get a really nice bank. I know I called this a reflection pool, I think, at the beginning of the video, but it's really meant to be more of just like a wildlife pond. I will reflect water for now, but I'm gonna let that bank stay exposed and eventually plants and grasses are gonna start growing. And it may not reflect as well as it will right now, but over time, as long as the wildlife keep using it, I'm gonna be happy. So I also added in just like a bucket of pond water from a nearby pond just to add some beneficial algae and bacteria into the water. I also added some of these small snails which I assume are going to start cleaning some of this pond up eventually which is going to be great. When I finished the pond I also added this trail camera right here and it's been up for the past few days and we had some success. We had three species come in, American crow, actually two American crows, an American robin and a common grackle and the grackle was actually in the pond bathing and we have photos of it so it's nice to just get that confirmation that species are actually using it every time you build something for wildlife there's never a guarantee like you'll build a beautiful nest box and they'll nest in your gutters or you'll build a beautiful wildlife pond or a somewhat reasonable wildlife pond and they'll drink in the puddle in your driveway or something so you can never guarantee this stuff but that's the excitement of it when they actually start using it and I didn't really explain why I put it here exactly but it's just because we have a bunch of poplars over here behind me that are growing in some young ones so when that gets to a decent size that's going to cover from the left and then behind me here you can kind of see some of the 
fruit trees in bloom but all over here it's pretty empty and i'm just gonna plant pretty much like a bird fruit forest like anything that the birds like in the area and that produces some type of fruit or at least a really good flower i'm gonna plant along this edge so this pond is gonna be a hot spot i also have some feeders in the poplars right now sitting in there so for today i think i'm just gonna hop into the blind sit around and wait to see if anything shows up the light's probably gonna get pretty brutal pretty quickly right now it's gorgeous but i really wanted to just film this and show everything that's happened but i'm gonna get into the blind hopefully as it heats up in the day too birds are more likely to come in drink and bathe even if the light's not that bad i might stay in the blind just to see what actually shows up i don't think that trail camera picks up on smaller birds like warblers which would be amazing and like vireos and that stuff and i hear an eastern kingbird behind me uh but yeah so i don't think it's going to pick up on those smaller birds so i kind of need to be in the blind to get confirmation that those birds are actually using this area so i'll get in wait around and see what shows up stay tuned before moving on, I'd just like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives. The classes cover a ton of topics ranging from photography, videography, editing, lifestyle, freelancing, and so much more. For those of you interested in video editing, I know it can be a lot to take in when you're first starting out. That's why I highly recommend a class called Advanced Video Editing with Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 by Jordi Vandeput. He has a great personality and the class is not only informative, but it's actually really, really funny as well, which I find makes the whole learning experience so much more memorable and enjoyable. All of their premium classes are available for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, so it's extremely affordable. And right now we're giving away free trials of Skillshare premium memberships to the first thousand of my subscribers that join using the link below. So check it out. There's a bunch of amazing learning opportunities. And thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. water just went off so hopefully the sound attracts more species I'm hoping that it sounds more desirable maybe sounds like more of a natural water source that they're gonna come in inspect it check it out I have had a sparrow a song sparrow come in a few times oh there's crows right there they might come in um, I did have a song sparrow come in a couple times but oh I think they're coming are they coming are they coming are they coming They flew over really, really low. Okay. Um, maybe they'll still end. Um, yeah, there was a song sparrow that came in, but he was really just here for the seeds. So he dropped down, he ate the seeds and left. So I'm not counting him. We still haven't had any actual birds show up and use the pond, either drinking or bathing. so happy right now it's great to see the birds actually using the pond my time wasn't wasted it wasn't for nothing and just to show you the power of water I've been hearing this Vesper Sparrow in the area for about two weeks now and it's not a species that I encounter that often in the area so it's nice to hear it but I haven't been able to get any good photos or videos because it's always kind of been on the perimeter the outer perimeters of the property and literally the first day I'm sitting in the blind it shows up lands down starts drinking bathing and then usually most birds after they bathe they'll jump into a little nearby tree and they'll just preen and clean off their feathers so he did that and just like that i have a species that i haven't been able to get for two weeks so man this is a great attractant i'm so happy it's actually working and we'll see what else shows up
So far I'm actually really surprised and impressed with how this turned out. I pretty much just eyeballed everything and kind of hoped for the best. Uh, the water depth has stayed at the same level. I used kind of just recycled uh, plastic and there's some holes in it so I had to patch those up and they seem to be holding up nicely. Birds are using it and they're actually not using the sides. I had a few times where uh, some brown headed cowbirds came in and then some sparrows came in and they landed on the sides and they just didn't feel comfortable going down to the water. So they flew to the other side which is exactly why I built it this way and that way I'm able to actually film them and photograph them from this position. So all that worked out nicely and even though I only saw about 15 species today either using the pond or landing around the pond that's great for me because it's the diversity of species that really excites me. It's not just getting seed eating birds, it's not just getting birds that eat suet. It's really, you can attract absolutely anything. And this has only been up for about five days, so not all the species know about it yet, or not all the species are comfortable with it. This isn't really a project where, you know, I just build it once and I forget about it. I need to tweak it over time to make it more appealing to more species. So I know right off the bat, I need to flatten that bank in the back a little bit. And on the black plastic on the sides, I'm going to add some grasses and some soil. So that's going to look a little bit more natural as well. And then start adding some perches. And as these poplars grow and some of the other trees that I planted grow, it's just going to become better and better for birds over time. So I'm excited for this to become a regular stop for most birds, especially during migration. We could hit some really interesting things. And I want to do another video like this, maybe in a month or a month and a half, when it's going to be really warm outside and a lot of birds are bathing and drinking because I think we'll just get a ton of birds that are used to this pond, using it, and hopefully attracting other species. So I'll stay here for another hour or two. If I get anything else, I'll put it up now, but I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy birding.